posh person with the foreign accent. Hello guys, in this lesson I'm gonna teach you how to play New River Train uh, as uh, played by the one and only Ton Rice. And obviously I should have used my new D28 Clone Rice, but after I fixed this box, it's so it's so good I can't put it down. Uh, I love the D28 as well, it's an amazing guitar, but that's why it's so fun to have more than one guitar, you know. It's different character, even if it's same wood, same side, same strings. I really like this one, and but I need to change the strings and raise the bridge a little bit. No, not the bridge, of course. I need to raise the saddle. I can't raise the bridge, that would look ridiculous. Anyway, here's a new river train. second C I play the C with a ring finger on the bass I hope you can see me all right here my hands This top is beautiful, isn't it? It's got a real nice vintage tone. So start with that, okay? In, instead of, he actually does this one. This is more of a rise, but he does like this, and I like that. From the top, slow. that one doesn't matter to me uh, but Tom Rice do the pull up with an up 
pull the finger up and I, I do it downwards. <laughs> What's comfortable for you? Don't do what Tony does, okay? possibly can and then I'm gonna play it a little bit faster but still slow just so you can hear the timing and everything okay now slower my ring did you hear that sorry when he sing he does this that's kind of neat lick and that's hard to do with the timing if you haven't done it before so the lick itself is really easy it just I'm trying to be as clear as possible here not like this as you could have imagined like this listen to the difference now that also works right it's this is more I don't know what you call it I, I don't know the musical terms but you wait <laughs> you wait a little longer listen to the difference Riding on a new River train. Riding on a new river train. You see the difference? I, I like that a lot because you don't expect it to come there. play it slow I don't know if that can help you with the timing but I'm gonna play the wrong one and the right one both you can do both both are absolutely all right okay but I like the last one much more So, that 
lose a little bit of the rhythm anyway. Uh, I can go through the chords if you want, but yes. This would be a D, but I use capo and I hold the C position, so I'm gonna speak for them in that kind of way. So it's a C. Riding on a river train. See, you can do the cross picking. Don't overdo the licks. I tend to do that sometimes. Uh, because I like him so much, but don't do it. That something that <laughs> one more time <laughs> that thumb thing I'm doing there I, I kind of like those but I don't have very big hands I don't know if these they aren't huge as you can see but you know you need to stretch the fingers you can do it you can also do it when you hold a, a D chord <laughs> far out the listener but I'm gonna show it and uh so work on the thumb thing as well and if you do the the C chord like this try and do with a bass with a ring finger also a great way to learn probably uh, the most people on my channel are doing this stuff already but maybe some some of you doesn't do it so so one more time on the rhythm here let's do it slow with the legs I'm gonna play the obvious one and the less known one when you're gonna go like oh that's nice to put the lick in there that kind of timing, syncopation, whatever, I don't know the words. I really don't care, but <laughs> you know, I can teach you anyway. And I, when I do that, I kind of play kind of soft. do a nice chop there you know so it can be heard but don't overdo it but you know what I mean again riding on a new river train riding on a new river train yeah I guess you know my point here so yeah that's that and take care everyone <laughs>